Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to give you another tour of my laundry room, so stay tuned. You've probably already seen my video of our laundry room makeover. If you haven't, click here and you can watch that, but we've done it again and the reason is is because we remodeled our kitchen and we created a hidden pantry using half of the space in the current laundry room so this video is how we utilized a smaller space but still made it look very quaint and adorable okay i'm going to show you some of the things i used in this laundry room to decorate it with to organize it with and a lot of the things i did get off of amazon so i will put the links of the items i got in the description of this video but let's start looking around I love bunnies. So when I found this wallpaper on Amazon, I had to have it and I loved the color of the blue. This wallpaper is peel and stick. It was super easy, but I loved this color so much that I took a piece of the wallpaper to the paint store and had them color match it. And that's what I used on the cabinets behind me. Scott built all of the cabinetry for me. And before he started to build, he sat me down and said, okay, tell me what you wanna keep in the laundry room so that he knew how to accommodate what I needed. Now, this side, I love that he did two closed cabinets so I can hide messes and we don't always wanna see an ironing board in a vacuum. I found these cute little knobs at Lowe's. I wanted to have a little bit of a brushed brass look in here. Unfortunately, the hinges were not brass. So what did I do? I broke out the rub and buff, rub and buff the hinges, and now they match. Now, if you'd seen the video before, you knew I had found some plaid wallpaper that matched really well with the bunny, and I utilized that in the larger laundry room. Well, I had some left over, so what did I do? <laughs> I put some wallpaper on the inside of the cabinet, and I will tell you, putting this wallpaper up was quicker than painting. Now, I ran out of this, uh, same kind of plaid wallpaper, but I found one very similar that I'm gonna use in the other cabinet. Let's talk about the center of this and the shelving that Scott built. He made sure the two shelves were wide enough to put laundry baskets on. And I know you're gonna love these laundry baskets. They're scalloped, but I didn't get them on Amazon. I'm sorry, I found, I found them at Home Goods, but they're absolutely beautiful. He also put a rod at the top where I can hang all of clothes that I need to dry. And there's enough space up here that I have a folding station. And of course, I added the wallpaper here and hung a picture. I didn't have enough of that plaid wallpaper that was in this cabinet, but I found this adorable gingham wallpaper on Amazon. And I'm going to do the inside of that cabinet. So I'm not finished yet, but I'm gonna use that wallpaper to wallpaper the inside of this cabinet. I keep all of my cleaning supplies in here. I wanna share something with you guys. Um, Vicki at our store honed me in on this. This is called Folex. It's called Carpet Spot Remover. This takes stains out of anything. I am absolutely in love with it. Now that we have a little kitty cat, I need it. I found a picture light on Amazon that plugs in but I also purchased a timer so that it can come on at a certain time in the evening and go off about 10 o'clock at night. 
Here's my little planting hack. If I like the plant, but I don't really like the pot that it's in, I'm going to drop it into a real clay pot to give the illusion that it is a real plant. Now I did find this scallop basket on Amazon and I got it so that it would match my laundry room baskets and all I keep in it is just some rags that I use to clean. I asked Scott to frame in my washer and dryer and he used butcher block, created a waterfall effect, but it's also more room for me to fold clothes. I love the way laundry detergent looks in a glass jar and I got these beautiful little scoops to set inside and it just looks extra pretty on my laundry room cabinet. You know I'm gonna find something old to put into my design so I went off to the antique store and I found this wood washboard and these two little wooden mirrors. I talk about the tile that I did that I painted but I talk about it in the original laundry room makeover and you need to go watch that to see how I did it. It has held up beautifully and saved us a lot of money. I got this quaint little light fixture off of Amazon and I think the beads add the perfect touch. To add more old to what's new in here, I looked on Facebook Marketplace and I found this cool glasswood door so I can shut off this room when my laundry room is being utilized. Remember, when you're designing a room, add old to new and shop in different places. That is how you create a curated design. I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll catch you in the next one. Have a great day.